And here you have the Ride Awake RS33 three in one uh, device, world's first. Just turn it on, James says recycling. And there you go, so easy enough to turn on. On the left hand side, you have the Bluetooth device, which is the heart rate monitor. So you push down both of the buttons and then you wait for a little bit of a flash and then that will show that you are now connected to the Ride Awake device. You can see the symbols of Bluetooth and the heart rate monitor. To actually read your heart rate, you're going to need to press the button and then hold your finger down for um, at least 15 to 20 seconds and then it'll actually show you what you're doing, what uh, heart rate comes up. How accurate this is, I will show you a little bit further into the video. Um, all right, and there you go, showing your heart rate. Excellent stuff. Hello, lovely people. James Morrison, James Social Cycling. How are we all doing this morning? Also say this morning, it's about lunchtime actually. So, as you've just seen, that was me just setting up the Ride Awake, as you can see now. So you've got the Bluetooth, you've got the heart rate. It's, this is the heart rate monitor. This is also supposed to work the lights as well, but I'm not sure on that. So I've now got GPS. I'm now ready to go. The bike's all ready to go. But as you can see, I'm not ready to go. I'm not ready to go. So I am going to go and get changed. I'm going to go out on the bike and do a bit of a first look. I'm the type of guy that finds instructions boring. So I haven't read through the instructions, although I should have done, especially for the heart rate bit, because I was hoping it would pick up on my um, Bluetooth um, Garmin heart rate monitor, but it didn't. But then I realized that that little gizmo there is actually part and parcel of the heart rate. It's also supposed to be the controller for the light as well. So, but we can have a play about with it. Let's go out. I'm only going to do an hour. To be fair, I haven't been out for a while. So, um, but I'll catch up. At, I'll catch up with you out on the road very soon. Lovely people. Well, I've been out on the bike since the 11th. And what is it today? 25th? Man, I've done a couple of turbo, three turbo sessions, 35 to 20, 20 to 35 minutes long. And uh, this is. Rattling around a bit, guys. You know what I'm like with a bit of noise. Ah, hate noise. Anyway, anyway. So, yes. So I haven't been out on the bike since sat, sun, sat, 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 Saturday the 11th. You can hear that rattling around a good one. I'll end up, I took my Garmin mount off, bugger. <laughs> It could be a short-lived review. Um, yes, so, um, and I only did 15.7 miles then. So with the turbo, I've only probably done about, I don't know, 16 miles with the on the turbo since then. But don't forget, guys and girls, I have been smashing it at the gym with my personal trainer, all right? She's left me. I, I know that I know these pains because I've been here before, but you know what it's like when you get older. The pain gets worse. Car back, and I need to change gear. 
Yeah, so the pain gets worse. So I've been walking around the first week. I could hardly walk. Uh, then I went to see her on the Monday and then the Wednesday. And I have to say, my arms have been in bits. <laughs> my arms have been in bits and my shoulders and my back. So um, it's all been a bit of a a bit of a wake-up call to be honest guys. If you're not doing anything else while cycling. Whew. Anyway, so my apologies. Um, and I did have to kind of push myself out. It was around, probably gone midday. Actually, is it set time on there? Yes, it's coming up. It's coming up 12.55 or 12.54. So, I've kind of, yeah, got out of bed about 10. Woohoo! So, yeah, sorry. Babble in it. My apologies. A bit of a babble. I wanted to try this Riley Wake out so I could give you my honest views. And I'll, you know, I can't expect to fall in love with it after one, but for me, there's a few functionalities that aren't there from the go. And that is a heart rate monitor that will read your heart rate properly and um, give you your average heart rate over a certain time, a certain distance. Um, uh, but that's just looking at the heart rate monitor. Then there's all this data that this, mech this device has in it. Um, can't really, at this moment, can't really go anywhere. Can't an, you can't analyze it. You can't analyze it to see what's been going on. So you kind of can only just look at this machine. Which, again, you know, I've got to say, keeping on topic with this riding wake, there are a lot of people out there, there are a lot of cyclists out there that aren't number crunchers that only want to know what they've done that day. And this will give them more info than they actually get at the moment. And it's got a light on it. And if they're not feeling very well, like me with high blood pressure, it gives you the chance to pull over and, and check your heart rate. So, you know, where there's negatives for, for the guys and girls that want to spend 300, 400, 500 pounds on on a cycling computer that tells you it all. You remember power meters, you know, stages only just come down one of their cranks for 300 quid. Oh great, yeah thanks stages, but you've still got to have a product that's going to cost you two, three, four, five hundred quid to be able to actually pull that data off. Stages isn't going to do it itself. And the other great thing about this is, is that's what it takes up on the bar. Yes, for for someone like us, on the drop bar, yeah, it's, it's there's not a lot of room there, and that kind of kills it. You've got the two, you've got the light, you've got the computer, and yeah, you've got your heart rate. But indicate. But if you're if you're somebody on a hybrid bike, a mountain bike, then you haven't got that much room on that bike either. So, you know, there's there's a lot of, which this would, would work fine if you weren't a number cruncher. You know, you can always, if you want your ride on Strava, you can always, you've always got your phone on you. And if you're buying something like this, you're not, well, you, you might be doing that. You might be doing that, those sort of distances, but the basic fact is, is that I, you know, really, apart from it rattling, which you could probably sort out on the bracket, I think that there is a good market for this product. 
<laughs> and I'm not even lying to you. I'm not saying this just to please Ride Awake because there are a lot of people that don't spend money on Garmin. They do have a little computer that's cost them 15, 20 quid that tells them some info. They do have a light. They do have a light on there as well. That the bars are being a bit full up with all the gizmos that you've got going on there. You know, this has got an SOS feature as well. So it's picked up Garmin. It's something that I will have to read up on because you can't expect me to know that but i'm sure in the settings there's an sos feature which obviously will pinpoint where you are but i'll read up on that so there's a bit of a safety mechanism there even though nowadays you've got that on your phone anyway there are a few features on here which i think would declutter the mind look bloody hell can you still see up my nose Hey, too busy talking to you, worry about what's coming up. Just thought I would do my blood, uh, heart rate. There you go. It's kind of the numbers I would have expected, but I thought if I tried them here then at least then I can double check them when I'm back because I own a um, Vivo Active which is the Garmin all sports watch and it, yeah so it takes your heart rate from the top of your wrist and that I've done on the ride with the Garmin um, 1000 and to be fair it's never the same so question mark over the how accurate the heart rate is uh, here's my heart rate in red at the top of t uh, circled in blue at the top of roman hill so it's well over 140 but if you remember you could see the image uh, the next image which shows you an average heart rate of 123 and max heart rate and that was the video i took at the top of roman hill when i did my heart rate um, on that so it's a little bit out i must admit Guys and girls, I'm back. I have, uh, what did I do? So I did 17.2 miles, did 14.2 average, uh, max speed 21, ascent and descent saying 9,999 feet on both, calories 804. Um, as you can see there, just kind of give you a bit of feedback. Um, So there you go, so you've got sort of rides. Um, if I went down to totals, there you go. So ride day one, ride hour one. So it's obviously not giving you one point, whatever, but mileage was 72. So again, I pulled this out of the box. I showed you um, how it worked by taking all the features off of the website. And today I managed just to get it out of the box, put it on the bike and work out how to use the heart rate monitor and obviously the computer itself. Um, so I still got the light to manage. The rattling, by the way, I'll put an image up now, hopefully you'll see, but if you can just see, there's a gap. I don't know if you're getting this, my screen's off. There's a gap there. The screw has literally come away there. And as you know, this you some of you may have 
try to find out how much this is and what um, where you can buy it from it's not on the web so this is I can only suggest that this is the first one that's out there so I can be grateful for that as well because they've asked me to do something so I'm not going to slag it off um, I'll, I'll send them an email with an image they'll see this video anyway and they'll be able to rectify it whether it's putting a better screw in there or not I'll um, I've got some screws that will take those little torque pieces so I'll try and fix it my side all for the development team to have a look at all right so um, sorry I've, I've stopped filming yeah stop filming because the battery ran out and I forgot to put the new battery in my pocket spare battery so uh, but anyway the bike seems fine I've quite enjoyed it actually to be honest I'm tired legs my left leg was horrendous the bike is minging as you can see and um, it was just really just a bit of a warm-up for tomorrow I need to get out with the RS 33 um, right awake three-in-one computer or device I need to get out with that um, in the evenings so I can test the lights out all right so it is only a first look guys and girls uh, my apologies, I didn't finish the video yesterday. Uh, well, I did finish the video, but I wasn't happy with the ending. Anyway, so, Ride Awake RS33 3-in-1 cycling device. So it is the computer, heart rate monitor, and a light. So we know it's a computer, we know it's a heart rate monitor, and now all I need to do is test out the light. So I will hopefully do that. I'm in London all this week, so, hopefully i'll try and get out the week after at some point in the evening and sort that out as well a um, couple of negatives but a few positives i think just think of this as a beta it's not on the market yet so any issues that i've got with this product i'm sure that riley weight will have a, a look at that the development team will be on it i promise not at the moment because they're on holiday at the moment it's um, the new year it's chinese new year all right, so thanks very much. I really appreciate you taking the time to actually watch through the video. Really do. I know it's this product is not going to be for everybody, but then who's saying that you haven't got somebody in your family that it will be for? So think about that. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Much appreciated. Thanks for all your support to all my subscribers. Guys, girls, ladies, gents, if you're not subscribed, come on, guys, subscribe. It's not, it's not, it's, it's free. This content is free. Lots of love, people. I'll see you on the road very soon.